good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome to Nancy Drew Danger on Deception Island where we need to get down from here and there's one more thing that I want to do here at the lighthouse before we leave and that one thing is in the cellar so I took a look at the serpent puzzle thing in the walkthrough and apparently there are no pieces to be added so we need to complete the puzzle as it is and uh, the walkthrough also had obviously the correct There's obviously more to this like the other half of the picture yeah like you probably heard the um kind of click that um that was heard when when these were put in like uh, this kind of arrangement the middle two up there and these two down here so this is the this is the correct arrangement for these and yeah there are more of those puzzles and um apparently there's like one more and when both are solved a thing happens so like a, a secret door opens i just wanted to do that while we were here although we do need to come back here so i could have done it then as well i guess but um yeah we need to find uh, some kind of a way to remove the rust on the kind of protective panel of the uh, lighthouse lamp and um we haven't been able to find anything like that i guess we could go and ask katie if she's got any like rust remover or oil or anything that we can use what's up see you in a bit i'll be right here i guess not okay well moving on I guess we could go and ask the people in the cafe. And if they don't have anything for us, I guess we can always move on to solving the the um, royal flush panels. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? It's been fun talking to you. Later, Gator. You again? See you around. Yeah, whatever. Okay, panels it is then. Um, We've got one here. But this one doesn't... Nothing behind this one. Yeah. So that one's not... Um, we've got one here. Aces. So there are two. What about kings? Okay, so there's only that one. So this one's gotta be spades then. Ace, king, queen. Jack. Oh. But didn't it need to be the same suit? Huh. 
Huh. This... this is the only queen we've got here. Uh, did they need to be in order? Because if they don't need to be in order... Like, uh, if it doesn't need to be Ace, King, Queen, Jack, Ten. Because we don't have Queen of Spades here. Yeah, we don't have Jack of Spades here. So apparently it's not going to be in order from Ace. To 10. We just gotta have all of them in one suit here. So, okay. Mm, fine. There was Queen of Spades. And then we need what? 10 and Jack. Ten. There, that looks right. Okay, so they don't need to be in order. They just need to be, you know, the correct um, ones in the in like the same or a single suite. So that's done. The one over here doesn't Nothing behind this one. Doesn't have one to it. What about this one? Okay, let's see. Do we have the King of Diamonds? We do have a lot of clubs here. So if we don't have the King of Diamonds, we could try clubs because we do seem to have a lot of them here. I think I'm going to try clubs on this one. Oh, Jack may have been... That looks perfect. Okay, <laughs> accidentally. Okay, so... Do we go for diamonds over here then? Oh, that was already... Do we have the ace that here? That should do it. Yep. And then I guess we just need the hearts. I mean, if... Nothing behind this one. Um... 
I guess I've taken a look at everything in here then. There was that one panel in this room. This one. So are we going for hearts here then? So if you're 10, you're Jack. You're Queen. Aha. Uh -huh. What was that? Nothings. Oh, there was the um. Aha! Uh -huh. I bet that's how those burglars got in here. Yeah, I thought that must have meant something when she was like, "Hmm, strange." And the only strange thing was that one of those shaker had shakers had fallen. I can't see a thing. I'm gonna need a flashlight. Okay. Flashlight. Either of you two have a flashlight? Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Do you have a flashlight I could borrow? Sorry. Oh. It's been fun talking to you. Later, Gator. You again? Would you happen to have a flashlight I could borrow? Nope. <laughs> See you around. Vote for Hulk. Spread the word. Okay. Uh, Katie? mean to do that. Katie? Flashlight? Hey, what's going on? Have you fixed the engine? I'm getting there. I remembered that a friend of mine had stashed some boat parts in my storage locker. Would you by any chance have a flashlight? I have a headlamp. I mean, I have one somewhere. I'm sorry, Nancy. I'm so hungry I can hardly see straight, let alone think straight. Want me to make you something to eat? That would be awesome. See you in a bit. Be careful out there. Ah, so this is where we need the sandwich making supplies. Here's the thing though, we kind of got sick. Um, eating a sandwich that had stuff from the fridge on it. So, what do we want to put on this? Maybe nothing from the fridge. Let's do... Peanut butter and um, jelly. Uh, keep. We'll take that to Katie. What's up? Here's a sandwich for you. Great. 
Here you go. Mmm, I'm starving. That was fabulous, thank you. Okay, you wanted my headlamp. Where's my headlamp? Oh my gosh. It was right here in the engine compartment the whole time. See you in a bit. Enjoy. Okay. Well, now that we have a lamp, let's go back and explore. Okay, so we're like descending this way. Quite a bit of descending actually. Hmm, a cairn. Wonder who made it. So, going left, we've got that kind of a thing. And going right, we seem to have like a... is that a door? Did it say Elvis was here on the wall? Another cairn. Okay, so if we turn here. We've got kind of sort of like stairs. I've got enough ten penny nails, thank you very much. Uh was that the hardware store then? Kind of looked like it. And there's nothing else for us here. So, turning that way led to the hardware store. And then if we... Ah, oh, here we go. Is this where we came from? I have no idea. Yeah, it is because we turned left. So if we keep going... If we keep going going, having turned right, we get to another cairn. And then we can turn left or right.
or go back? What if we go back because that seemed kind of a little bit too maze-like for me. So this is if we go left, like uh, once we've entered the tunnels from the cafe. Another cairn. So yeah, if we go left... We come to a ladder. And something crunches underfoot. Camping gear is the last thing I need right now. Okay, so I guess we do need to go the other way then. I'm also kind of trying to watch out for anything that we can pick up or anything. Is this where we came from? Yes, it is. It's where we came from. So, apparently, we need to go this way. And then we come here. If we go left. Another cairn. And nothing else. And if we go right. Glad I'm wearing comfortable shoes. Because it looks like I'm going to be doing a lot of walking. Uh... Phew, I feel like I've walked for miles. Turn or another cairn. So we turned left there. And we found a weird looking stone. And then, if we go straight, instead of turning left... We find a door. And I wanted to look at this too. Oil. Have some oil. Okay. Now then, door. Led us to another door. Dead end. That sounds that like sound. a... Where have 
I heard that sound before? Lighthouse. It takes but two to make it disappear. So this is the other serpent puzzle. I'm assuming there will be a sound if we get it right. Oh, it was the middle two up. Okay. And we're in the lighthouse. So that was just both sides of the same door. And we've got Interesting. What do I do now? Can I move? Okay, okay, okay. So you can move that. You can move these by... We're probably going to find out the symbols from somewhere, right? So I'm going to leave this alone for now. We've got the thing that we need. The oil. And we're actually... I'm in the sea caves. Oh, yes you are. You totally are. Or we are. Can you not turn anymore that way? I guess not. So that's the sea caves under the lighthouse. Looks like the only way out of here is the way I came in. Ugh, really? Thanks a lot, game. So we gotta go here and... Uh, do we need to turn at the cairn? No. Oh yeah, she was like... Ooh, I feel I've walked for miles and... And, uh, then I guess I need to turn left. Yeah, okay. And from here? Here we go go this way and we go back up all right 
and then we gotta take the long way back to the lighthouse. Should have known, because you know that's just the kind of game this is. Of course we'd have to take the very 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 long way back. At least it uh, doesn't seem to make us input the code into the lock again once we've done it once. And that's an improvement over some of the older games in the series. Oh it does. <laughs> Just when I was like oh that's an improvement. 3475, right? It's a good thing I repeated it so many times. Was it like in our previous episode or something? I still remember it. Okay. Oil. Perfect. Glad that worked. I guess we can do this now. Um I'm really surprised we didn't have to re-input our phone number into the machine there. So what now? Can't do anything with that. Can do something with this. But that's just turn it on and off again. Mm. Today's date has been circled. Are we going to get like a phone call or something? Because. Hello? Yep. Hello, Nancy. Hilda here. Hilda? Hilda Swenson? Easy, girl. Not like you're talking to the Queen of England or anything. Although I did meet her once. Stuffy lot, those Windsors. It's just that I kind of feel like I know you. More important, I know you. Or rather, I know I can trust you. Just in time, too. I have the feeling things around there are about to get out of hand. Oh? What do you mean? What kind of things? Patience. As in all good films, all will eventually be revealed. In the meantime, I've sent you an email. Read it, follow the instructions, and we'll do lunch. That'd be great! No, no, no. It's just an expression, dear. No one in Hollywood ever really has lunch when they say they're going to do lunch. Oh. I'll be in touch. And rest assured, I'll be watching. Which reminds me, someone's been up in the lighthouse. I couldn't see who. I hope they aren't doing any damage. They did leave kind of a mess. We really must put a stop to this, Nancy. Ciao! Okay. So that's why we needed to send them our phone number. Um... Email. So back to the boat. To check our email. Oh, 
Okay, let's see what we've got. Just gotta navigate. Where's this water coming from? Oh. <laughs> what is that smell? Pew. Yeah, this is where it seemed to be coming from. I guess we better tell Katie, huh? We'll tell Katie about that and then check our email. What's up? See you in a bit. Be careful out there. Or not. I guess we'll just check our email then. Dear Nancy, after your father took one of the longest showers in history, naturally I had just cleaned the bathroom, he decided he needed a project. So he went to the store and came back with everything he needs to build a bookshelf for the family room. This, as we both know, is not good. Your father is the worst handyman I've ever seen. When I told him I'd help, he said he wouldn't hear of it and shooed me out of the room. He's obviously forgotten what happened when he tried to fix the disposal. It's very quiet in here. I think he's about to start hammering. As you would say, this is so not good. Love, Hannah. Aww. Something from Hilda. Hi Nancy, I left something for you at the coordinates below. As you can see, some of the numbers in the coordinates have been replaced by letters. Yeah, 42 point ABC and 08 point 7 DE. To figure out what numbers the letters represent, take a good look at these equations. A is number of nuns surrounding Snake Horse Harbor, B equals the ID number of the buoy that's got graffiti on it, C equals number of isoface buoys surrounding Snake Horse Harbor plus 4, D equals how many dollars Jenna charges for a cup of clam chowder, and E equals number of cairns in the tunnel. You're just the kind of person I was hoping to find. Smart, resourceful, tenacious, and curious. Keep it up. H. Well, here's the thing. I could go and count all those things. And uh, do it the hard way. Or... I could just take a look at the walkthrough and do it the easy way. And uh, obviously, I'm choosing the easy, lazy way. So, less running around and more just getting to the point and continuing with the story. That's how I like to play. So, um, I'm going to pause the recording here and uh, look up the coordinates in the walkthrough and uh, I'll be back once I've got them. Alright, so... New coordinates are uh, 48, 42, 485. And 
Okay, so I guess does that mean that it's been created? And that's the that waypoint. That's the new one. So I guess that's where we'll be going next. Um, journal. Um, ah, here we go. The letters that were on the objects Hilda gave to Holt, Andy, and Jenna spell out telephone number. Hilda must want me to send her my cell phone number in Morse code from the lighthouse. When I explored the lighthouse, it looked like somebody else has been up there recently and I found a calendar with today's date circled. Something is obviously supposed to happen today, but what? In the room under the lighthouse, I found a box of light bulbs. The pictures on the walls in the basement of the lighthouse and at the end of the tunnel are mirror images of each other. Moving a tile on one side changes the picture on the other side. When I got Caddy matched up in those pictures, not only did a door between the lighthouse and the tunnel open up, but a door in the floor of the lighthouse opened up. When I went through the door in the floor of the lighthouse, I found myself on a ledge in the sea caves. Hilda Swenson called me right after I sent her my telephone number, and then she sent me an email. That's the good news. The bad news is she left me something at another geocache, and... To find the coordinates, I have to go on a kind of a scavenger hunt. Okay, well... We took a shortcut around that. Because, um... As I said, I prefer getting straight to the point. If I can, instead of having to run around... Uh, counting things like that. So, let's find this spot. Um, is it this way? Yes. And then we need to turn left at some point. Oops, went too far. And now that we're this way, the direction we need to turn is right. So this way. And then we need to turn this way. And here we are. It's um some kind of a signal transmitter. I don't know when it opens yet. Hello? Hello, Nancy. I commend your ability to take direction and to follow through. You're definitely a cut above. And for that, you've just been rewarded. What am I supposed to do with this thing? You're to take it with you, but for now, listen carefully. I hope you like poems. 
Below ground is a rock with a strange anvil look. When you're near it, behold what's above. Letters found at the beach will put a new spot in reach. Letters only a sailor could love. Oh, my apologies, dear. I'm many things, but I'm afraid I'm not much of a poet. <laughs> so, anvil rock, look above, letters on a beach will put a new spot in your reach on oh, okay so anvil rock look up um not that i'm complaining but wouldn't it be easier if you just gave me whatever it is you want me to have or i to simply give it to you you might just turn around and toss it away but if i make you earn it you'll feel like it's yours and use it properly now where was i ah the device you just found, it'll come in handy when you get where you're going after you've gone where my poem takes you. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, no, please don't hang up. I've got so many questions. Okay. I guess we're going to the Anvil Rock. But I think I'm going to do that in the next episode. Um, let's go to the cafe and then we'll get to the anvil rock in the next... Well, actually, maybe I better get there in this episode because um, in the next one, I may not remember so well where exactly it is so this may end up being a slightly longer episode but i want to get to the anvil rock before i end the episode because as i said in the next one i may not have such a clear recollection of where the Anvil Rock actually is. So, um... I thought it was here, <laughs> but apparently not. It's just the cairn and that's here. Is it near the lighthouse? Is do we have to go like all the way back to over here? It is. Okay. So, when you're near this, look up. There's an opening up there. It goes to another tunnel. Okay. So, uh, this is where I'm ending this episode. And, um... We'll explore this other tunnel in the next one. For now, thank you so much for watching and uh, spending a little of your time with me here today. If you like this video, please leave it a like. I would really love that. And also, please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you again next time.